Thank you, Umberto. Nobody said that to me since I left jail. See you around. Scott 13, we got a missed car test. Ask for you, especially. If you don't raise your kids right Okay, I got it. Car 13, out. Or uh, working in radio. I want them to get proper jobs, like being a doctor, not a patient. That is offensive. My mother understood I was special. She made me wear a bonnet as a child, and when I demanded to go to school naked, she was fine with it. After social services moved me, she would still write to me. I still remember when she kissed me goodbye. But Barry, earlier you said you discovered naturism, taking your clothes off, whatever it is in German. I know, but I lie a lot. Uh, I've got a lot of personal issues. Look at me. Please, Maurice, I need a hug. There's another example of immorality in this city. Public showing of affection. People think we want to see the making out and carrying on. I understand your hormones rage like a wild animal, and you want to ravage one another like there's no tomorrow, but you have to ignore what your body is telling you and work for a higher calling, like construction. We're building a statue, and we need your help. Call me now. You know, pretty soon you won't be able to tell who's a human and who's an android. Why, the corporation is working on it right now. I know, I read about it. I tell my kids not to kiss other kids at school. It might be an android. Suck your brains out. You must have seen the miniseries event on television. I read it in a book. We've got to stop looking at the stars, all this science fiction, and focus on the family. Now, if you really want to dance like you're on the moon, go there and leave us in peace. And that's a fact. Yeah, uh, what's a fact? I'm hmm. sorry, no Maurice, sign of Mercedes. But I have to tell you, I moved to Florida to bring my kids up the American way in a theme park. And that's just the kind of person I am. Opinionated and moronic. I see. Well, this panel is certainly interesting. The issue is morality. Recently, rock artists joined together to provide famine aid to Alaska with the song Do They Know It's the Fourth of July? Critics complain it's immoral to meddle in the affairs of other peoples and cultures. Pastor Richards... What? Uh, what do you make of meddling in other people's business like an over-opinionated sociopath? Well, let me say that money could have gone to much better things like reserving a place by my side in the Pastor Richard Salvation statue. But I digress and plug. Stop doing Don't that. interrupt me, boy. Anywho, I address the Alaska issue in Chapter 23 of my book. You see, the Alaskans are lunatics, plain and simple. They eat whale and snow and they sleep in the freezer. Who wants to eat snow every day? Oh, I tried to help. I sent a helicopter with copies of my book, but they burned them in a pile for heat. If the people of Alaska choose to live there, let them. But don't come crying when you're tired of eating penguin and it snows 18 feet a day. Yes, but don't you think it's important? I think it's very important to listen to me, young man. That's what makes the state of Florida great. Rather than help improve where they are, people nationwide abandon their hometowns, come down here, and shove their beliefs down everyone else's throat. That's the American way, always has been. We should send some pictures of Florida to those people in Alaska. I tell you, they'd throw it. It's time for confidence. And guardian angels ink from Bender. And I should know, I'm from Mars. No, you're not. Uh, Mars, Alabama. I found it three colleges there. The problem with Alaska is that people don't get naked. If you can't work on your car, or play the cello, or use sharp knives in your birthday suit, then what's the point of living? Uh, well, it is a bit cold there. People put on clothes when it's cold. We evolved without a...